Hello? Are you a j? You a fucking j? Uh, no. Scotch Irish, how does that help you? Well, Montello! Huh? You a fucking piece of shit? You know what? You call with an unknown number because you're a chicken shit and you're a coward. And you ain't got what the heart you do, to do nobody. nobody. Nobody can do you, you motherfucking... You ain't got the heart to get in front of... You can't hold, handle me and I'm 74 years old. I'll whip you like a thumb box 45, man. Yeah, you're a piece about? of shit. Yeah, yeah. You know who I am, but I don't know who you are. So piece of shit. This is not a joke. You're, you're a... You're a chink. Yeah, you, you nobody are. know what you do? Anyone can do what you do. Pardon, why don't you just come to my office and talk like this, you chicken shit? You just wake up, this is shit. Yeah. You have nothing yeah, to do, you motherfucking you crook, huh? Uh, I'll find out who you are. I'll find out who you are. And you threaten me again, and I'll, I'll promise you, you won't like your end of it. You suck my dick, you fucking crook. Boy, you are a lightweight prick. You, you think you're smart, a, huh? You're a lightweight. You're a lightweight is what you are, mister. You're just a bitch. You are not worth the time to... You're not worth the time to talk to. You, you fucking qu- Yep. <laughs> Let somebody fuck say. you, okay? Huh? It's not a joke, you fucking What'd crook. What'd you say? Hey, why don't you tell me who you are? You know, you know who I am. You're just, you're just a damn coward is all you are. As a lightweight coward, you know. You My name is Dick, and you're a fucking guy. ass. You, you ain't got no, you ain't got no guts. You're My name is Dick, guy. man. Yeah, I'm dickhead. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lower myself to get down in your gutter, creep. You're a funny creep. guy, you piece of shit. You're a pedophile. You're a pedophile is what you are. A pedophile. You motherfucking piece of shit. I, I got you now. You call three times on it. I got you. You son of a gun. I'll have your phone traced and I'll have your ass in the jail before you get to the news. You better stay off this deck on phone. I got you now. Are you crazy? Or what? Yeah, it looks like you have a dick in your ass. You gutless wonder. You are a gutless, low life gutless wonder. You ain't got I bet you're a fucking you mother motherfucker shit. shit. I think I know who you are. I think I know exactly who you are. I know the voice now. I know who you are. You, you should be a fucking gay to fuck you, man. You're John's, you're John's son-in-law. <laughs> Reva, Reyes' son-in-law. Yeah, yeah. That's who you are. Yeah. John Reyes' son-in-law. Chicken shit. Gutless wonder. I'm doing very good, you piece of shit. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll I'll see about you. I'll see about you, you stupid prick. You piece of shit. Get off this goddamn phone, leave me alone, will you? Get off the you phone, leave shit. me alone. Get off the phone, leave me alone, you gutless wonder. You ain't got the guts for nothing, man. You are a piece of poop, is what you are. You ain't got nothing on me, you stupid son of a butter. Leave me alone. What the fuck I did? Bell bombs. Hello? Hello? Yes? Yes, sir. What you got? <laughs> You're very rude. Am I? This is who? I just told you. Well, I, mean, I didn't hear you, buddy. I'm sorry. Earl Rogers. Paul Rogers, okay. Well, I I didn't make it out. I'm out in the woods. R-O-G-E-R-S. Paul Rogers, R-O-D-G-E-R-S. All right? Yes. Are you, uh, you're in jail? Yes. Okay, well, I'm trying to talk to you, Paul. You know. Yes, I know. That's... What are you charged with? Excuse me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I know. That's... 
What are you charged with? What are you charged with? What are you in jail for? This morning. For what? Hell, I don't know what you're in there for. Talk to me. Why are you so mad at me? Because you're dropping and grazing cane with me. That gun, you still, I answer the phone, you chew me out. Then you you don't get around. I've asked you three times, what are you charged with? And you haven't told me yet. I apologize. Well, okay, tell me what you're charged with. Possession of a controlled substance. Okay. Have you seen a judge yet? No. Okay, you have to see him in the morning. And once you see him and he sets bond for you, then call me back and we'll tell you how much and get you out of there. $25,000. How do you know it's 25000 Is it a warrant? Yes. Okay, 25000 For Is it a... Is it a uh, uh, failure to appear or what? Yes. Okay. Was I on the bond, the original bond? No. Who was? Karen. Karen. And I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't have any idea. Okay, is there anyone I can call to get you some help? Yes. Who? You can call and ask for Fred. Okay. Fred what? What's his last name? Anderson, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. Okay, what's his telephone? 909-620-7785. Seven seven eight eight. Okay. Yes. Okay. Where are you living now? At a Seven Eleven. I'm fixing to hang this phone up. Excuse me. I'm. Um, you said in a Seven Eleven. Is that where you live? Yes. Where at is the 7-Eleven at? I'm right across the street, Temple City. 7-Eleven. That's me. You're living at 7-Eleven. What? What's the street? 147 North Euclid Avenue. 147 North? Yes. Yukon? Yukon? Yes. Avenue. Okay, what town? In Pomona. Pomona, California? Yes. God, man. Where are you in jail at? Who's in jail? Are you in jail? You said you were in jail. Yes. Where? Vista. Where? Vista. I'm fixing to hang up. You don't pay it. By Buena Park. Okay, thank you. That's what I'm trying to get out. Yes. Of. Texas? Yes. Okay, that's where you live. Yes. But you're in jail in Walker. Are you in jail in Walker County? Yes. Okay. You, you're living in Galena Park, Texas? Yes. Okay, what's the zip? Excuse me? What is the zip? Zip code. It's beyond my comprehension. 
zip code? You don't know what your zip code is? No. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. You call me back when you get you when you get sobered up in the morning. Why are you okay? acting like this? Because I Damn, I am trying. I am wore out. I've worked all day long, and I got you on the line, and you're full of dope or something because you ain't got no brains tonight. Now, damn it, call somebody else. I'm tired of messing with you. Is this your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you My act? What are you talking? What are you talking about? You goofy. I know you're you a better gentleman pounds. than this, sir. Well, not when I'm talking to somebody like this. I'm please, sorry. please. Well, uh, are you in Walker County Jail? Yes. Okay, you're in Walker County Jail, Huntsville, Texas. Yes. Okay, and you're living in Galena Park. Five hundred and half of that's twelve hundred and fifty. Is that the only charge you have? Uh no. Is that the only char is that the only charge you have? No. You got another charge? What is it? Transportation ex felon with a firearm. How much is that bond? Five thousand dollars. Five? Okay. Seven sixty five. Okay. Hit and run. Forty-five hundred and fifteen dollars with a cosigner. Yes. And your name again is. My name is Jerry Anglin. A N G L I N. I own OK Bell Bond Company. OK Pond. OK Bell Bonds. Okay. Now, if you can rake up $4,515, I'll be out there in the morning and get you out of there. Yes. You need a cosigner, though. Is there anybody that can cosign for you? Yes. Okay. Is that Gregory Mr. Stevens? Uh, Fred Anderson? Fred yes. Anderson? Yes. 909-620-7788? Yes. Okay, I'll call him. I'll call him. And I'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bell bonds. Bell bonds. Paul, is this Paul Rogers? Yes. Why are you calling me back, Paul? The the number you give me is Fred Anderson in in Ramona Beach, California. He don't know you. Wow. I'm going to hang up and I don't want you to call me back. Do you okay? want to have I don't sex? Want you call me back. Do you want to have sex? I don't believe so. Are you a part of that group that's been calling me at, at night? Paul? I am getting Paul. sexual satisfaction. Don't you call me back again. You call me back again, I'm going to have this thing named Christ, and we're going to find you. You understand? Do you have you big kids? Get off his phone and stay off his phone. Do you hear fucking in the background? Oh, man, you're a pervert, crazy son of a gun. Bell Bonds. Hello? Bell Bonds. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who, who's speaking? This is... Jerry. This is the fire department. This is the fire department? Yes. Are you with police department? No, sir, I'm not. I'm, I'm with 
bail bondsman. I'm kind of confused what's going on. Sir, you're calling me on an unknown telephone number. The bail bond okay. business. I'm in the bail bond business. Yes, sir. And there, I've been getting these calls on this unknown telephone number for about the last two weeks. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd stop calling. Yeah, there's some, there's some there's some issues going on with something. There's not any issues going on with me. There's an issue going on with you calling me on an unknown telephone number. Now, people don't do that, neither to police stations, neither to fire departments, neither to anybody, but somebody that's just running a game. Who'd you get a phone call from? Just now, you. Did you say anything? Now, tell me who you are. Tell me who you are. This is the fire chief. This ain't the fire chief in, in Huntsville, Texas. Yes, sir. He called me by, he my, by my name. He knows me. This is no fire department in this town. Wrong answer. Uh, he would announce himself. No, don't worry about my answer. Wrong answer. Get off his phone and stay off his phone. Wrong stay answer. Stay off the phone. Wrong answer. Stay off of it. Don't call me back. Wrong answer. Bill Bonds. What you was telling me? My itchy, itchy ass. What? I have an itchy, itchy ass on. Let me tell you something. You don't stay off this damn phone. We're going to put your ass in the jail. I'll promise you. We're just okay, four out of off your butt. You understand? We're just a short stroke off your butt. You understand? Stay off this damn phone. I have a itchy ass. Hello? Yes, hello? Hello? Good evening. Good evening. I'm in a bit of a, some duty. I stepped in. I stepped in a little bit of some duty on the road, as the, as, so to speak. Can you help? Morning. What's that? Can you help me? 